Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we learn how to work with the shortcut distillation column in DWSIM. In this tutorial, we learn how to simulate a shortcut distillation column to calculate the minimum number of stages, calculate the minimum reflux ratio, we'll calculate the optimal feed stage location, and finally, we'll also calculate the condenser and reboiler duty. For this simulation, We'll be using the following example. The compounds given to us are benzene and toluene, and the package given to us is Raoult's law. We'll use the following process conditions, and we have the reflux ratio, which is equivalent to 1.4 times the minimum reflux ratio, and we have the compound and product properties. Now, first, let us open the DWSIM application. Click on create new for a new steady state simulation. Click on next to continue. Now let us search and select the compounds required for the simulation. Benzene and toluene have been selected. Click on next. And from the available property packages, Select Raoult's Law, click on Add, and once the package is added, go to Next. Change the system of units to C5, and click on Finish. Now let us introduce a material stream. Click on the material stream, and change the object name to Feed. Now, under the stream conditions, change the flash spec to pressure and vapor fraction, PVF, and change the vapor phase mole fraction to 0. Now the pressure given to us in the question is 1 atm, so which is also equivalent to 1.01325 bar, so we need not change that. Change the molar flow to 100 kilomole per hour, so let's make that change. Now go to the compound amounts tab and change the mole fraction of benzene to 0.4 and that of toluene to 0.6. Click on accept changes. Now let us introduce a shortcut distillation column to the flow sheet. So under the columns tab, drag and drop the shortcut column. Now let's introduce two material streams and two energy streams for the column. Change the name of the top material stream to distillate. and that of the bottom material stream to bottom product. Now change the energy stream on the top to condenser duty or C duty and that of the bottom energy stream to reboiler duty or R duty. Now select the shortcut distillation column and select the feed stream as feed, the distillate stream as distillate, the bottom stream as bottom and the condenser duty as C duty and the reboiler duty as R duty. You can see that all the streams have been connected to the distillation column. Now under the calculation parameters, select the light key compound as benzene and the heavy key compound as toluene. This means that benzene readily vaporizes as compared to toluene. Therefore, the concentration of benzene will be higher in the distillate and the concentration of toluene 
will be higher in the bottom product. The distillate concentration of benzene is given as 0.99. Therefore, benzene that is the light key compound present in the bottoms will be 1 minus 0 0.99 which is 0 0.01 which is already entered. Similarly, the heavy key mole fraction in the bottoms will be 0 0.99. Therefore, 1 minus 0 0.99 will be what is present in the distillate. So that is also 0 0.01. Now the reflux ratio is 1.5 so we need not change that. And the condenser type is total. Both the condenser and reboiler pressures are at atmospheric conditions so we need not change that. Now let us run this flow sheet. So click on solve flow sheet and under the results you can see that the minimum reflux ratio is 1.66655 and the minimum number of stages is 10.16. You can see that the actual number of stages and the optimal feed stage there is no value given. This is because the reflux ratio is entered as 1.5. So now let us change the value of the reflux ratio equal to 1.5 into minimum reflux ratio 1.65509 and click on solve flow sheet. So now the reflux ratio is equivalent to 2.5 almost and the flow sheet is run and you can see that the actual number of stages is almost equal into 18 and the optimal feed stage is equal into 8.3. So we've come to the end of the tutorial. We simulated a shortcut distillation column. We calculated the minimum number of stages which is equal into 10.1614. We calculated the minimum reflux ratio which is equal into 1.65509. We calculated the optimum feed stage location which is at 8.28 and we also calculated the condenser and reboiler duties. You can repeat the simulation using the following example. The compounds given are ethanol and water and the thermodynamic package is Raoult's law. The process conditions, the reflux ratio, the light key and heavy key components and the product concentrations are also given. Hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thank you.